question number 11. And sorry, I don't have that many numbers. Before my 11th question to you guys, I wanted to explain briefly why I entitled these videos Questions That No Atheist Can Answer. Oh, we already know why you do. You do it because you want attention. You may say that I entitled these videos to grab an audience. And as you see below in my video views, when I entitle my videos questions no atheist can answer, but when, when I entitle my videos as a challenge to the atheist community on YouTube, I get far more views. Or in other words, to get attention. <laughs> I entitle that is because I honestly don't think you guys can answer these questions in an honest way without your preconceived atheist responses. You uh, maybe you think so, but how about we're proving you wrong? So for my 11th question to you guys is, what if you die? I think you need to say when. There's no if, it's a certainty. And you're before your Lord. You mean before your Lord, not mine. The God of the Bible, the Creator, and you see that Jesus Christ had indeed died on the cross for you and for your sins. And you have spent your life denying that truth and denying that gift that is freely given, what would you say to your Creator? Well, I would say two things. One, for being an omniscient and omnipotent God, He really did a poor job at knowing what evidence I would need and providing it. And two, you have to be a pretty sick, twisted God to demand somebody to die in order to be able to forgive someone else. And not worthy of being worshipped anyway. Hell can assure you if you're wrong, you will not like hell. Think about that. Well, let's have a little more fun with that. What if, when you die, you stand before Zeus and have to get account of why you were worshipping a false god? Because I can assure you, if you're wrong, you really aren't going to like Tartarus. 